So what is going on, The Last of Us fans? It's your boy Mazi here, bringing you guys a little bit of a news update of what's going to be going down for The Last of Us Part 2 at PlayStation Experience. So we did get it confirmed that The Last of Us Part 2 will have some presence, some role to play at PlayStation Experience. And much like I told my Ghost of Tsushima subscribers or the people who follow my Ghost of Tsushima content, try to remember that what's being said is what's going to be happening at a dedicated panel. This has nothing to do with the PlayStation Presents, which is going to be taking place on December 8th, the day right before. This is going to be taking place on December 9th, but this is still a good sign for The Last of Us Part 2, because this is not only where the game got announced last year, but at the same time too, The Last of Us Part 2 playing some role at PlayStation Experience should bump people's hopes for a trailer a little bit higher, because it is making an appearance at the show in some form. So what's going to be happening on the 9th is that at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Time, meaning you got to find out, well, I'll put in the video what this means for Eastern and Central Time in case, but as far as anybody who stays near California or towards that side of America, of course, this is going to be happening at 6.30. Join Naughty Dog and the cast of The Last of Us Part Two as they discuss the making of the cutscene teaser trailer that was revealed just a few short weeks ago at Paris Games Week. Director and writer Neil Druckmann, co-writer Haley Gross, and key members of the game's cast discuss the writing process, casting, performance, capture, and more. For those attending the event, there will also be a signing session following the panel. So... If you know what this means, then you know that this means that Neil Druckmann and, of course, Haley Gross and other members will also be making an appearance. And what could be happening is that Neil Druckmann could reveal some more information towards the story and some more information towards who the woman was, which is probably why they blocked the woman's name out. So if it isn't Anna, which, come on, guys, it is. If it isn't Anna, we'll get it probably revealed here who in the hell it was because they're going to be going into the making of the cutscene that we got or the cutscene teaser trailer that we got at Paris Games Week. This means that the information that was in that trailer will actually get revealed if we missed any key points. So if we missed anything, that would mean that it will get revealed. Who these people are that was in that trailer will get revealed. Who the woman is will more than likely get revealed. And of course, who um, the two Asian kids were. At the same time, too, the potential for a trailer is still very likely, as what's going to be happening with The Last of Us Part Two is still not said as far as the PlayStation Presents thing goes. However, we do know that the PlayStation Presents is going to be following, of course, games that haven't released yet, as they said, as Sony said in a kind of cryptic way, we did save some... Um, we did save some games, pretty much, for this point of the year. Although a lot of the games and stuff that they wanted to announce for this year and next year were at E3, there are still some things that are going to get announced here at PlayStation Experience. So that's a lot to look forward to. But thank you guys for tuning into the video. I know it's a little short. It was just a little bit of a news update because The Last of Us Part 2 will be making an appearance at PlayStation Experience. And I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew not to doubt the idea of The Last of Us Part 2 making some kind of appearance just because it was at Paris Games Week. This is me and Boy Mazi. Don't forget to do a little A-Class game. And everything you do, don't forget to keep it A-Class. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace the heck out. Here comes the...